So, driving. It very much is a rite of passage over in the United States. Once you get your license, you're very much free, really. That's kind of your freedom at that point in terms of what you can do, where you can go. You're not relying on anybody at that point. But how many people don't drive in the United States? And is this number changing? Is the percentage of people not driving in the US going up or down? Well, I found this handy article here from all aboard northwest.org and I found a few different sources that do go along with these numbers in terms of the actual number of people not driving. Now, according to this, in 2022, so just over two, well, just over two years ago, really, the population of the United States is around 332 million people. Now, approximately 22% of those are children under 8, 17 who cannot drive. Now, the number of Americans with driver's license is reported to be around 238 million, with the actual number of drivers active at the moment are probably around 235 to 230 million. So depending on which numbers you pick, the number is approximately 30% of Americans that don't drive. So that's kind of the answer you're probably looking for there. But is this number changing? Well, if you look at the demographics of these people that have and don't have driver's license, then you can then you can get a picture of what is actually going on here. So the highest percentage of adults without driver's license are between 16 and 19 years of age, around 65.2%. That's that don't have it, so only around 35% don't. And there's a few factors in this, obviously. Young people are driving less and less, that is a reason. The cost of learning how to drive, the improvement of public transports in a lot of American big cities, and also the fact that they might just have not got around to doing that yet. So there's time for them to do that in their 20s. I, for example, I only learned how to drive when I was 24. So I know I'm in a different country, obviously, but it does happen, you know, factors get in the way, you know. I was a young father, so you know, that, that kind of got in the way. I literally went from being in university to being a dad, didn't really have time, then the pandemic happened, and then I eventually learned how to drive, so. Yeah. Also, on this, on the, in terms of the people that don't have the licenses so much, I mean, the next one after that, the 16 to 19, is 85 and older. It's 39.9%, so 60% of people do. Now, I imagine a lot of those people, when they were younger, did have driver's license, but for various reasons, will have either given them up or had to stop driving because of medical conditions. So that's, that's what's probably going on there. But then it drops all the way down to between around 19% of so that don't between 20 and 24. So 80% of 20 to 24 year olds do have licenses. Now, of course, these stats, they're quite subjective, really, when you think about it, because at the end of the day, people who have driver's licenses might not necessarily be driving. You know, I know people who have driver's license that haven't really ever driven that much, to be honest with you. It surprises, it surprises me how often that does happen. So there's not, not a one size fits all kind of thing there, but in general, the number of drivers in the US is decreasing ever so slightly. There's still a lot of factors that will keep it very high. The fact that public transport in general in the US is not really that good and if you're in a rural part of the US you're gonna have to learn how to drive because there's no way out of there you know so yeah there's a few different factors at play there but overall the number is going down and it's gonna continue to decrease but Americans overall they are the biggest owners of cars in the world really in terms of the average uh, they're gonna be up there certainly the highest for the size of their country anyway so yeah there we go guys around 30% of US drivers overall do not know well 30% of people don't have a driver's license in America and therefore don't drive so that's kind of your stats with that one there and yeah for much more motoring and motorsport news do keep it tuned here on the motoringchronicle.com like share comment subscribe and ring the bell as well for much more information just like this